The former Santa Fe Opera apprentice, soprano Laura Wilde, made her European debut singing the role of Yunufa with the English National Opera, and she brings the role to Santa Fe this summer. Welcome. Thank you. I'm thrilled to be back. So, Yunufa, a long and complicated story. Mm-hmm. A woman in love with a bad man. He rejects her when her beauty is spoiled. Uh, she loses her baby. She's almost tried for murder. But at the end, she ends up falling in love with a man who'd loved her all along. Mm -hmm. So tell us a bit about the journey that she goes through. Yeah, so it's it's quite the journey. Um, She really, as a lot of it is just sort of the emotional turmoil of she starts out the opera pregnant um, with the baby of the man who she loves. Did I leave that part Um, out? You did, but there's a lot of... (laughs) It's, it's, it's a complicated story to sort of summarize, um, but she basically she spends a lot of time um, struggling with this, this one decision that she made, which in this culture um, carries a lot of weight to it because she is not yet married. Um, and it turns out she can't be married because he is a drunkard and her foster mother has decided they have to wait a year for him to be sober to get married which is a little too long when you're already pregnant. Um, So we sort of enter into this turmoil, um, and then she sort of swings back and forth at the mercy of the decisions being made by those around her. And at the end, um, it really, for me, it's one of the most beautiful endings to an opera that there is, because there's not this superficial wrapping up into a happy ending. There's this hope of two sort of broken people deciding to walk forward in life together. Um, And she finally takes some control of her own destiny. Yes, yeah, she does. And she she sort of looks around and recognizes that everyone made decisions out of love that didn't turn out great. Um, And so not one person is condemned, should be condemned for sort of what has has um, happened. And so she she then makes the decision that sort of forgiveness needs to be the order of the day. So if she makes the decision at the end, but what keeps her going this whole time with the whole world seeming to just throw Mm -hmm. stuff at her? You know, I think, I think that she really, she's really driven by love. She's driven by love for in the beginning for this man, uh, Steva. And then she's driven for love driven by love for her child, her baby. And then I think there's this love after she loses the child. There's, I think there's, there's sections of hopelessness that she goes through moments, just like any other human being would um, in the face of these conflicts. And, but she's able to sort of refine the love for the people around her, even through their faults. You made your European debut with this role uh, mm-hmm. with the English National Opera. What was that like? It was it was a huge debut for me because it wasn't just my European debut. It was my first year out, first job out from being a young artist. Um, really? So I had just finished with the program, um, the Ryan Opera Center at the Lyric Opera of Chicago, and it was so it was my role debut, company debut, European debut, young or principal artist debut, all at the same time. And it was a lot of weight. And it was an opera that I hadn't, you know, previously sung. I sort of trusted that all of my mentors were correct in thinking this was a good opera for me and a good role. And luckily, I had this incredible team at English National Opera. It's the same production we're doing here. So it was David Alden directing. Um, and over there, I worked with this con- with a conductor, Mark Wigglesworth, who both of whom were willing to trust me and help me trust myself, and then continue to push me to develop the character and find my voice. Um, The music is very demanding of the soprano, particularly in the high range. Mm -hmm. Um, How how well does Janacek write for for singers? I think he writes incredibly well. Um, I love the Czech language. It's a really forward language. There are lots of consonants, which can be complicated, but... Um, really, is it, is, does it? It lies well in the mouth. And, it and it does for me. It does. I think each singer is different in which which sort of um, languages work for them. But for me, it 
there's no, I can't sort of put it in a, in a, in a bad place. I have to put everything forward. And you have words like srce, where there's not really a, a vowel and you have to sort of find one, but you have to keep it forward in, in order to say the word. That means heart, by the way, srce. <laughs> um, and, and Janacek, I sort of have compared him to, for those who don't know his music, because he's, I, I often say that people, it's either their favorite opera or they've never heard of it, um, Yanufa. And it, he's sort of like if you put Strauss and Puccini together, he's like this wild version of Puccini. And so he knew how to write for the voice. The lines are beautiful. You have these big, beautiful, dramatic moments, but he also knows how to pare it down and get the most genuine expression. Um, and a, an example for anyone who comes to see the opera is when Yanufa first learns that her child is dead. Some opera composers might have written this dramatic sob, you know, scene, but he writes shock, so which is the normal human emotion when someone would go through loss. Um, and so it's really genuine to the human experience, which makes it, for me, she as we said, she takes her destiny and turn her own hands. Um, and, and it's the struggle for me sort of is cause she goes from sad to devastated to the fetal position at the end of the opera. And you have to find those levels and also insert hope in there, um, to sort of get through the entire journey to the end. Laura Wilde plays the title role in Unufa this summer at the Santa Fe Opera. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm thrilled to be here. Make sure everyone gets out to see it. (laughs) 